Gemini, thank you for joining me for your soulmate reading. So, as always, you're not going to connect every week. That's totally fine. If you do relate to what I say, please like this video and let me know in the comments below, okay? So, we're looking at the energies between you and your soulmate, that person that you constantly think about. You know who it is, I don't know. So, be honest with yourself, my love. Okay, let's pick one oracle card. Luck is on your side, okay? Before I started the reading, when I was meditating about this reading, I was, I had a feeling that someone would be reaching out, like a sudden message from someone. Uh, so it feels like you might have been waiting on someone to communicate with you. And it's going to be lucky, okay? This is like a lucky time for you in love, definitely. Let me pick a major arcana before we start with the tarot. Ooh. Okay. The moon in the reverse. You're going to get answers, okay? So if you've been either ghosted you've been, or, you know, someone that you like isn't communicating with you. We're going to put this in the upright just because it's prettier like that. <laughs> I think someone is going to be suddenly reaching out to you after a long pause, after a long period of silence, okay? So this could be someone that you were in and out with. Um, it could be you also. It could be vice versa energy. Let's start clarifying with the tarot. My intuition is through the roof today. Let's see. On your soulmate side, on your person side, how do they feel about Gemini at the moment? How do they feel Oof. about Gemini at the moment? Okay. First card that popped out was the Two of Wands. So they've been patiently waiting to find the good words. How will they come? What, what should they say to you for either you to want to listen or want to take them back? Ten of Wands. This person, they've been constantly thinking about you, Gemini. Constantly. It drained them out, okay? This is the type of person that puts everybody else's problems on their shoulder. And it affects their love relationship, especially. So, they had to close a cycle on their side. Something really personal. It could be with an ex. It could be, you know, just personal business. I don't feel like it was about you necessarily and we have the queen of pentacles this person in the past they weren't able to receive what you had to offer to them i think that they were overwhelmed they got drained out and it's like they had to cut the communication to finally work on themselves definitely some of you are not going to be interested to see what they have to say but this reading is for a gemini who is open to receive um you're going to get clarity on something. You could be dealing with a fire sign, doesn't have to. Uh, but, you know, we have Sag here, fire, fire, and the moon in the reverse. So, also meaning that there is still a lot of attraction between you guys. Even if there was a moment of silence, the wait is over, my love. Okay, let's see on your side how you feel about this person. How does Gemini feel? You're not sure. You're not sure if you want to take them back, if you want to hear what they have to say. Yeah. Let's be honest, they hurt you. They made you feel really uncomfortable at one point. And they made you doubt yourself. They made you doubt your integrity. And you don't do that to a Gemini. Oh shit, because they're going to cut you out. Trust me. Gemini, I know they will. Uh, this person made you doubt yourself uh not cool that's why i feel like for some of you you're not sure if you want to open up maybe you want to have these difficult conversation and see what they have to say what they have to offer but they're gonna have to prove with their actions and not only by talking you don't give a shit anymore about the dms and the giving just enough so the relationship still exists you want proof you want action uh, you want stimulation. That's what I'm hearing. Um, yeah, this person has been a dick. 
Maybe you ended up blocking them because you were like, oh my God, I'm done with that bullshit. But there is a part of you who is still wishing for a brand new beginning. It's kind of the one that got away. You're like, we had something really cool. I was really hopeful in the beginning, especially uh, if you connect with like meeting this person online. I feel like they're going to be suddenly reaching out. You might be the one doing that. It could be vice versa. Uh, yeah. Let's see what is the energy that connects you two. What is the energy that connects Gemini and their person? Where's the energy? Okay. Really strong energy today for you, my love. Ooh, okay. There was a pause that needed to happen. Okay, the, the uncertainty wasn't uh, pleasing either one of you, like not knowing what's going to happen with the future. Maybe you met this person online when the pandemic was just starting. Okay, it doesn't have to, but just as an example, like not knowing how could things evolve, what's going to happen with us. It was just draining at one point and the communication was hard, I feel. You wanted to be together. The attraction was there. You both found each other really sexy, really attractive. It feels like two single independent person um, who found each other, connected, uh, got along. Uh, a really sexy vibe, to be honest. But at one point, it was like something happened Either they got scared or you got scared. Someone wasn't giving enough. And I feel like someone got ghosted. Or you just stopped communicating. But again, there's a feeling of the one that got away. I don't know why. And you're definitely going to get answers on if you've been asking yourself questions. Remember, the moon was in the reverse. Okay, so let's start clarifying. I'm going to use the Modern Witch deck to clarify today. Give me clarity on the Two of Wands for Gemini. Nine of Pentacles. This is the second Virgo energy, so you could have Virgo in your chart or they could have some, but Virgo energy is about, of course, being single, independent, and knowing your worth, knowing who you give your energy to. I feel like this person either had difficult relationship in the past and they have problem trusting. Also, they could be busy working on their finance, their business, and it's like they had, they had so many other things on their mind that they had to kind of cut communication, okay? They couldn't give you what you deserved and what you wanted at the time, but they're gonna be coming back. They're coming back with a message. They're coming back kind of suddenly. And I don't know how you feel about that, Gemini. Some of you are open, some of you are not. But this energy coming out pretty strongly, um, there is something that you need to learn and that they need to learn from you. And I feel like there is a lot of hope for a brand new beginning. There is a lot of attraction here, okay? Let's be honest, this is the kind of person, if you didn't meet them in person yet, uh, it's going to be hot. This is like sexy energy, but it's like, do they have what it takes to be stable, to communicate, to have a really solid, grounded uh, relationship? Or is it just sexual? Is it just attraction? I think you're, you're slowly going to find out what it is about that. Um, but it seems like they are stable. Three of Cups. So maybe they had to deal with a third party situation. Maybe they had someone else in the past. Three of Cups could be about that, but it doesn't have to. Uh, I do feel like this is the kind of person who wants to introduce you to the people they love, family, friends. You feel and they feel like you would both fit in each other like gang, group of people like besties. Um, but again, I feel seeing it on top of the Ten of Wands, they had something to close in the past. Maybe they didn't tell you about it. Or maybe when they did, it kind of broke things off. They had unfinished business, my love. Definitely, they had something that they needed to take care of, something that they needed to heal. Um, I love that. It feels like 
I'm going to be honest, my love, they try to move on, okay? They try to forget about you and they couldn't. They couldn't. It's like they, they got to crossroads in their life and they were like, oh shit, I'm, I can't forget about Gemini. There's something about Gemini that I'm not going to find in someone else. And I feel like the base of everything is sex and attraction. But the more you guys communicate, it becomes like so much more than that. Two of Pentacles. Give me clarity on the Two of Pentacles. Six of Wands and Eight of Pentacles. Uh, you had other things to worry about, my love. You know, in the beginning, I said that they kind of made you doubt yourself. It takes a lot, I feel, for a Gemini to really doubt themselves. You guys are really confident. Uh, and even if sometimes you are not, people don't notice. And I think that is the most attracting thing attractive thing about a Gemini is your self-confidence. Six of Wands is the victory card, celebrating yourself. Eight of Pentacles is transformation through hard work. So you were busy. You had other things on your mind. And at one point you were like, listen, if you ghost me or not, if you come back or not, I'm still positive. I'm still keeping my head up and doing, you know, uh, my hard work. So it's like the, this person, they kind of hurt you at one point, but they never, you never, I don't know how to say it. My intuition is all over the place. Like I said, you always felt like you were the bigger person in that situation. And you were, my love. Okay. This is how I'm going to put it. <laughs> Five of sword. Okay. You really fell in love with that person at one point, okay? You really felt a lot of love. Like, you you ask yourself, is that my soulmate? Like, why am I feeling so attracted to them? And again, they made you doubt that with their action. But I feel like the moment they come back, and if they choose their word carefully, if they really prove with their actions that they change, you're still going to feel that oh, okay, there is huge potential still. I do feel like there is an, an equal give and take when it comes to love between you guys, okay? They, there might be a lot of work to do still. A lot of work, especially on their ego. Um, yeah, there's something about their, their ego. They care a lot about what other people think. And they were trapped in the past for a while, but I think that they, they really worked on that. They really did. Ace of sword, ace of sword, three of wands. So the first card here was the two of wands and the last card now is the three of wands. Things are ready to happen. The wait is over, okay? Uh, you were in silence long enough with that person. Of course, you decide when they come back suddenly with that message, with that offer. How are you going to react? It's all, it's all you, my love. You decide. Like I said, you were always the bigger person in that situation. You kind of have control. Um, not that they are desperate, okay? But like I said, they're not ab able to forget about you, Gemini. They don't want to live without you. They love you. Uh, and I think that it could be nice for you to just open up and listen to what they have to say. Look at this. Look what, po look what popped out of my deck. Ace of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. You opening up and giving them the chance to have a brand new beginning with you at least to communicate, could change everything. It could change your whole future, my love. This is big energy. This is a big love connection. Um, let me know in the comments below how you relate to that reading. Who is that person? Did they ghost you? Were you the one ghosting them? Are you waiting for some type of answer? Are you going to answer when they... Uh, when they communicate again, if this popped out in a soulmate reading, it's because there is unfinished business and there is major potential for a new beginning. We have two ace here, two of wands, three of wands, wheel of fortune, a lot of major arcana, two of cups, soulmate card. Listen, luck is on your side. I think this situation could really change your whole future. 
And if you're not open to have this person in your life, that's totally fine. At least maybe listen to what they have to say because it, it's going to have a major impact on you and your future. And you deserve to have answer. You deserve that respect. Okay? So thank you for being here, Gemini. Let me know how you connect to this. And I will send you your weekly readings in a couple days. Okay, bye-bye, Gem.